I got to go back to this because you mentioned the fact that you found that beat online, the YouTube um, mm -hmm. beat. Now, this is a situation that people, they fantasize about. I want to do, the, I want to get, I don't want to get this beat or should I get this beat because this might blow up or I believe in this song. You actually got a beat. It actually blew up. What was that process in terms of, did you actually buy it or did you just, I don't even got the money, I'm going to record and I don't, I'm not going to even buy it. And then what did it look like that, like in the background, like were you, did it, was it too much trouble and all that kind of stuff when it, when the actual blow up happened? Honestly, it was a very, very smooth process. I, I think what I did was I got a lease for the beat first, um, just an untagged lease so I could record on it. And if I, cause I, I didn't plan on holding it for as long as I did. It was just something in the back of my head. They kept telling me, nah, not yet. Don't release it yet. So I I got the lease and uh, I put, I, I recorded on it. And honestly, it was just kind of hoping that no one would buy it before I did. And, <laughs> and, and, and in my situation, it worked out because, yeah. you know, once, once I had the label and the management, they were like, all right, we need to buy this beat immediately. And yeah. luckily no one had bought it. Uh, I gave them more money than they were asking for it on YouTube. Just like a, to be fair, you know, because everyone knew it was going to be big and you don't mm -hmm. want to be the guy that, that, that paid $200 for a beat. Right. And then the song goes on to make a million dollars because it's like, it's just not a, it's not fair. And you know, I, I believe in fairness, everyone, there's enough bread for everybody to eat. So I got lucky, but I would say for, for people in a similar situation, like first you got to be realistic for yourself. A lot of people think songs are going to be hits that aren't going to be hits. You know, like you got to think, what, what is it about this song that is going to make it a hit? Is the melody so so crazy that it's infectious and everybody that listens to it can't help but sing or hum along? Is it a concept that's never been done before and so crazy that it takes it to the next level? Is is the delivery something that hasn't been heard that's going to capture people's ears? Is it is it good for TikTok and you could there's a dance challenge associated with it? If it doesn't have at least one of those things, it's probably not going to be a hit and you're probably going to be fine not buying the beat or just doing the lease. But but you'll know if it's a hit if you're honest with yourself.